very good morning to one and all students i am here to teach you chemistry this is shishir gupta in front of you and we are starting with the topic of class 6 chemistry the topic for today's class will be an introduction to chemistry first of all i will be just explaining you the concepts of chemistry which will be just from the basic so Until class five, what you have studied, you have studied science as one subject. But now, as you are growing and as you are moving to the middle section of the school, you will be studying the branches of science separately. So, what was science? Science is the systematic study of things. science is the systematic study of things which is proved through experiments and observations so this you have already studied up to class but now in this class we are going to study the branches of science separately basically there are three branches of science first branch of science is physics second is chemistry and third branch is biology so these are the three branches of science now we will not be studying science but we will be studying physics chemistry and biology as separate subjects so basically we are here to talk about chemistry we will discuss about physics and biology in later classes so what is chemistry chemistry is the branch of science chemistry is the branch of science which deals with the study of elements compounds atoms molecules their nature chemical nature chemical properties of the substance so before moving into the subject it is very necessary to know about the various branches of science what is chemistry first of all we should know this one so chemistry is the branch of science which deals with the study of elements compounds atoms molecules their nature their properties all these things we are going to study in chemistry only now we will be talking about this chemistry only so let us discuss about chemistry in detail so moving further we will be talking about the chemistry now the question arises are there no branches of chemistry because chemistry is also a very wide subject so in order to make it study quite easy simple and attractive chemistry is also divided and categorized into three branches what are those the first branch of chemistry is inorganic chemistry second branch of chemistry is organic chemistry and third branch of chemistry is physical chemistry this i am teaching you from just the very basic the from the first level so that you may not have any problem because this subject you have to study quite far as you all know that science and maths are one of the 
major subjects which you have to study and they are majorly asked in competitive exams only. The syllabus of class 6 to 10 is already is being asked nowadays in each and every competitive exams. So it is not only for class 6 but other persons can also view it so that you may have a good grasp over the subject from basic to further. So for the talking, for the moving into the subject, chemistry is all categorized into three branches in organic chemistry, organic chemistry and physical chemistry. So what is organic chemistry? Organic in organic chemistry is the branch of chemistry in which we are studying about the all compounds present in earth crust. All compounds present in earth's crust except carbon atom. Except carbon. So in, in organic chemistry, we are studying each and every compound present in earth crust except carbon. For example, gold, symbol capital A, small u, aluminium, symbol capital A, small l, copper, zinc, each and everything we are studying and that branch of chemistry is known as inorganic chemistry. So inorganic chemistry is the branch of science in which we are studying about all the compounds which are present in the earth crust but except carbon Except carbon. Now the second thing is about organic chemistry. What is organic chemistry? Organic chemistry is the branch of science in which we are studying about carbon and its compounds. Carbon and its compounds. So all the substances which are made up of carbon, which are having carbon atom, the symbol of carbon is capital C, which are having C, that will come in the category of organic chemistry. Carbon is having two special properties. First one is tetravalency and second one is catenation. These are the two properties and because of this there are a large number of carbon compounds. More than 12,500 compounds are there only of carbon. That's why a separate branch of chemistry is made only for the study of carbon and its compounds. So in organic compounds, we are studying about carbon and its compounds. Tetravalency, why carbon is having so many compounds? Because of tetravalency. Tetravalency means its valency is 4, which is maximum for any element. And catenation, catenation is the property by which carbon atoms form straight branch chains. It is having a special property of combining with another carbon. So, what will be examples of organic compound? Methane. That is one of the basic compound. Formula is CH4. Another compound is ethane. Formula is C2H6. In both carbon is there, so that will come in the category of organic compounds. Third one is the physical chemistry. So, in physical chemistry, we are studying about all the laws which are related to chemistry. Laws related to chemistry are studied in physical chemistry. For example, Boyle's law, Charles law, Gas laws, Avogadro's law, that all we are studying in physical chemistry only. So these were the three branches of chemistry which we have discussed. First one was inorganic, second one was organic and third one is the physical chemistry. So I hope now you might be clear about the introduction 
to chemistry that how science is classified into three categories and how chemistry is also subcategorized into three categories now we are going to study now we are going to study about much more into the chapter so finally we got the definition of chemistry also that chemistry is a branch of science which deals with the study of chemical compounds their nature their properties about matter molecules each and everything like this if we are talking about chemistry in no day in hindi chemistry is known as rasayan shastra rasayan shastra and it is the combination of two words rasa and shastra it is a combination of two words rasa and shastra so what is the meaning of rasa the word rasa means essence and the word shastra means science in hindi if we are talking about in hindi chemistry is known as rasayan shastra so it is combination of two words rasa and shastra rasa means essence and shastra means science so overall what is the meaning of this the overall meaning is study of matter overall the meaning of the word is overall the meaning of chemistry is study of matter now the question arises what is matter so matter is anything which has mass and occupies space what is matter matter is anything which has mass and occupies space so anything in the world which is having some other mass and which is occupying some other space will come in the category of matter for example if you talk about a sister you can see it is occupying some space and it is having some weight also some mass also so it will come in the category of matter if we are talking about this small chalk piece then it is occupying some space and it will be having some mass also if we are talking about this light weighted paper then also you can see it is occupying some space it is having some weight even the small piece of stone our hair each and everything in this world will come in the category of matter because everything will be having some other mass and it will be occupying the space also so matter is anything which has mass and occupies space and matter is composed of very tiny indivisible particles that are known as atom that is known as atom so now we are going to discuss about the structure of atom in detail now we are going to discuss about the structure of atom in detail because matter is made up of small tiny structures that are known as atoms so we are going to discuss about the structure of atom in our next video this much is enough for today's class i hope you all might be clear about the introduction to chemistry how atom is made and what are the sub atomic particles each and everything we are going to discuss in the next class so students do read it and by this you will be having a good knowledge of introduction we will be starting just by level by level so that you can have a good grasp over the subject goodbye have a nice day